Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the probability of dependent events. Last time, we had a lot of video with regards to the difference between the independent and dependent events in probability. At we had a video na solo lang para sa independent events. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So the focus natin ngayon is all about the probability of dependent events. So ano nga ba ang dependent events? Pag sinabi natin dependent events, two events are dependent if the result of the first event affects the outcome of the second event so that the probability is changed. So simple lang naman, pag sinabi natin yung dalawang events natin o yung events natin ay dependent, kapag nakuha natin yung probability ng first event, it will affect the probability or the value of the probability of the second event. So we have here the formula. Ang bas basa natin formula natin. P of event A or P of A and event B is equal to the probability of event A times the probability of event B given that A has occurred. So ito yung formula natin. Mga relays yung para siya gamitin when we discuss this kind of example. So let's add the example. A bag contains 5 green marbles. So meron tayong 5 green marbles. And 2 red marbles. Again, we have 5 green marbles and 2 red marbles. So all in all, meron tayong 7 marbles sa loob ng bag. 5 is green. And... Ito naman yung red natin. So, sir, paano ba natin gagamitin yung formula natin? So, let, let us write first our formula. Probability of event A, which is yung A natin, is, sabi dito, what is the probability of drawing a green marble followed by drawing a red marble? So, basahin ko muna uli, ah. A bag contains 5 green marbles and 2 red marbles. And ito situation natin. A marble is drawn and not replaced. So, automatic, kapag walang, re walang replacement, siya ay mag-fall na under ng dependent events. Okay? Kapag binunod natin yung, yung isang bola, wala siyang replacement. So, under nga siya ng dependent events. And then, the second marble is drawn. What is the probability of drawing a green marble? So, kung mapapansin nyo, this is our first event. Yung pag-draw ng green marble. So, green marble, green tayo, lagyan natin to green and green marble followed by drawing a red marble so probability of green and red importante rito guys yung ano, yung mismong uh, yung mismong sequence again, yung mismong sequence ng event natin so to shorten our solution o yung susunat natin dito, gawin natin probability of G, G na lang tayo G probability of Drawing a green marble times the probability of red marble slash green. Okay? So, paano ba natin solve to sir? Una, kunin mo na natin yung probability ng pag-draw ng green marble. So, alam natin meron tayong 5 green marbles. So, yun ang magiging numerator natin because that is our favorable outcome. Para naman sa denominator natin, it is the number of all possible outcomes wherein yung equivalent nun ay yung total number of marbles sa loob ng bag. And that is 7. So as you can see, ito na yung mismo sagot natin for the probability of getting a green marble sa unang draw natin. Siya kasing first event natin. At ito na. Dito na ngayon mapasok or makikita nyo na ngayon kung paano siya naging dependent event or paano naging naapektuhan ng pagdodraw ng green marble yung pagkuha naman natin ng red marble. So for the probability, parito na tayo ha, of drawing a red marble given that drawing green has occurred, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito, bilangin natin ilang green marbles ba meron tayo. Meron tayong 2. 
Ah, meron tayong red. Sa red natin pala, sorry, red pala, red. Meron tayong two red marbles, so that is two. Okay? So again, that is two. Kasi meron tayong two red marbles. Ngayon, sir, ilan na ngayon yung ating denominator? Is it seven? No. That is six. Sir, bakit po? Since meron tayong a total of seven marbles, mapansin nyo, but seven, ha? Eh? And then nag-draw tayo ng isang marble without replacement. So, 7 minus 1, that will give you 6. Ito ngayon yung ating number of all possible outcomes. And to simplify this, this will give you 1, 3. Ito ngayon yung probability of getting red na after mangyari yung pag-draw ng green. So ngayon, since meron na tayo itong mga basic probability natin, we can do this one. And it will give us the probability of getting a green marble, that is 5 over 7 times yung probability of drawing a red marble given that drawing a green marble has occurred that is 1 over 3 so when you multiply this this will give us medyo kulang natin ng space 5 times 1 that is 5 over 7 times 3 that is 21 ito ay yung probability of getting a green and a red marble so ito yung sample natin pagdating sa calculating ng probability ng under ng dependent events. So in our next in the next part of our video, bibigyan ko pa kayo ng isang example para mas lalo niyo ma-apply or maintindihan paano ba kina-calculate ang probability ng isang dependent events. Now let us solve the second example with regards to probability of dependent events. We have here the problem, two cards are chosen at random without replacement. Again, take note. Without replacement, meaning this one is under dependent events. Again, two cards are chosen at random without replacement from a pack of 52 playing cards. So another information, na yung total number of cards natin ay yung standard deck of cards, which is 52. If the first card chosen is an ace, what is the probability that the second card chosen is a king. So, ang pinapanong sa atin dito ay ganda lang. Probability of getting an ace and king. Where in ang ating formula dito is first get the probability of getting an ace times the probability of king kapag nakuha na natin yung ace natin. So, ang first step natin is to calculate for the probability of an ace We know sa isang standard deck of cards, we have four, ace, four aces, four. And the total number of cards is 52, so that will be four over 52, in which that is equal to one over 13. And yung probability of getting an ace natin. As or how about the probability of this one? Para naman sa probability of king, if A is tapos na, so, yung king natin is the same as 4 pa rin. Meron tayong 4 kings, which is the spade, hearts, clubs, and yung diamond. So, 4 tayo. Pero, since ito ay under ng dependent events, affected ng probability na to yung second probability natin. Kasi kumuha na tayong isa. Ibig sabihin, hindi na 52 yung ating denominator. This one is 51. Ito na ngayon yung ating uh, second probability. So to calculate for the probability of getting an ace and a king, it will be 1 over 13 times 4 over 51. So normally, uh, multiply to multiply natin yung numerator to numerator. Yung numerator natin is 4 over your denominator 13 times 51, this is 1, ah oh sorry, this is 3, 1 times is 3, 1 times 1 is 1, 5 times 3 is 15, carry 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so this is 5, ah oh sorry, 663. Yung denominator natin ngayon ay 663. Therefore, ito yung sagot natin. The probability of getting... Um, an ace 
is 66 over a uh, 4 over 663. Actually guys, ito lang yung mismo problem natin. Pinahaba ko lang talaga siya. Sabi kasi dito, what is the probability that the second card chosen is a king? Halos ito na yun eh. Ito yung sagot natin dito sa problem na to. Pero ako kasi, para may relate natin yung ginawa natin problem kanina dito, ginawa na rin natin yung probability ng dalawa. Okay? So I hope na nakuha niyo yung methods at yung na-understand niyo ano ba talaga yung ibig sabihin ng um, dependent events and you know how to calculate for the probability of an of a dependent event. So kung meron kang tanong about our problems or meron kang gustong topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to put down that topic or question sa ating comment section at mababasa ko ito. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Don. Marami marami salamat. Bye! -bye.